I'm jumping into Elite Dangerous, this time without the Oculus Rift DK2, but with the Thrustmaster Hotas Warthog A10 Replica Hotas Joystick. Now this is a combat mission where you've got to take out three small ships whilst avoiding being contacted by the singular giant ship that can destroy you in one foul swoop. Now the thing with the Hotas Warthog is that it does have essentially the same buttons as the X-52 and it does have a profile in game as we absolutely destroy this leaking, he's venting gas but he's, he's coming back. Uh, it does have all the same buttons if not more than the X-52 so it all maps up and works in game pretty much the same as X-52. The only difference really is the feel of the th throttle stick. Uh, the, you've got more buttons available that you can then map and the actual feel of the joystick itself. Now the Hotas Warthog is a far, far more sturdier joystick uh, than and throttle than the X-52 and because of that you do get more believability from the feel of the game. Everything feels a little bit more sturdy, a little bit more real but then because I'm playing this without the DK2 uh, very much feels like a computer game and it's surprising actually the DK2 and VR has a far bigger effect on immersion or well, not really surprising quite quite obviously than uh, than the joystick nonetheless the Hotas Warthog does add uh, a lot to, to the feel of the game now it, it might in my opinion it's slightly harder to aim with the Hotas Warthog compared to the X52 because it is slightly stiffer uh, and the yaw isn't on the joystick, which means the joystick feels uh, better because it's not wobbling at all. But it does mean that you have to either have foot pedals or map the yaw to uh, the joystick or one of the joysticks or the, or one of the hats on the throttle, which is what I've done in this video. In the future, I think I'll use my G25 foot pedals for yaw, which is a better all-round solution. I think that'll add even more to the simulation than using yaw on the joystick, but it's something to be aware of. And uh, I think one thing with the... Hotas Warthog over the X-52 is that it kind of uh, makes you approach things in a more methodical way which again adds to the simulation aspect of it but then might make it a little bit more tricky initially and, and people might find it harder to play initially than the X-52 and they would be a little bit more fatigued but if you want big muscular man arms the uh, Hotas Warthog uh, a big muscular man arms and, uh, and no money in your bank account the hot ass warthog is the way to go as we swoop around and get the uh, let's get the jump on this guy bullets into the cockpit get ready for the firework there we go and uh, that's number two down I seem to have got away with that without not being detected by the giant ship not being able to look around from not using the DK2 for, for me really does detract a lot from the game just the, the head movement with the DK2 and VR and being able to look around just adds so much to Elite Dangerous it, it takes the game on a completely different level than if you're just playing it on a screen so uh, Oculus announced that the uh, CV1 is going to be coming out or it's going to be available next year so I can't wait for that there we go last ship and we take him out as we've been, we've been detected by the giant ship. But fortunately, we killed the last ship and the game thinks that we've won. So even though we died, uh, we actually won. So it's all okay. But that was a jump into one of the combat missions with the Hotas Warthog. A little bit of talk about the Hotas Warthog over the X-52 in Elite Dangerous. I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to be making more Oculus Rift DK2 videos with Elite Dangerous very soon indeed. So if you don't want to miss out on them, click the subscribe button. And uh, there's the old videos on the right hand side, which of course you can click X Plane 10, Elite Dangerous with DK2, or me making a cake. Thanks for watching and goodbye.